If you break it down, we only have two different ways in life. The first one is the way of mediocrity, of being average, of giving in to the pain, of quitting when it gets hard, of staying in your comfort zone, of disbelief. And then there's this other way, this path that I chose to walk. I chose to use my heartache as motivation. I chose to not listen to people who always told me I can't, that I'm not tall enough, not athletic enough, not strong enough, that I don't have what it takes, not talented enough, too skinny. I chose to not let other people define who I am. Action always speaks louder than words. So I began to understand that it's not about what you speak, it's about what you do on a daily basis. Not quitting when it gets hard, pushing through any obstacle, even if it breaks your heart or even your bones. You don't define who I am. I let my work ethic speak for me. I don't fear to be judged or to stand out. My fear is to blend in, to be forgotten, be average. I don't fear you or your words. I already went through hell. I don't fear any man or any obstacle. I wasn't able to forget what has happened in my life. But instead of giving in to the pain, I chose to give it a meaning and let it push me spark a fire in my soul that no man is able to put down. I am my own biggest enemy. I don't fight you or anyone else. I fight my fears, my anxieties, my doubts. I fight the belief that it's impossible. I am not driven by the desire to please others. I am driven by the everlasting pain in my heart. Life has taken something from me that will leave a scar forever. And therefore, you can't put me down. Your words and negativity don't reach me. I know that I'm able to do anything. If you really want something, you will always find a way. If you can't find a way, you gotta create one. One day, my weaknesses will be my biggest assets. One day, your attempts to put me down, to hurt me, make me want to quit will be the reason that I succeed. I will not stop. I will pay whatever price I have to. I am on an eternal mission of glory. I am ready. So come, try to stop me. best you can be the king calm banging on your chest you can beat the world you can beat the war you can talk the guy go banging on his door you can throw your hands up you can beat the clock you can move a mountain you can break rocks you can be a master don't wait for luck dedicate yourself and you can find yourself You 
can run the mile You can walk straight through hell with a smile You could be the hero, you could get the gold Breaking all the records if I never could be broke Yeah, do it for your people, do it for your pride And you're never gonna know if you never even try Do it for your country, do it for your name Cause there's gonna be a day when you're dead how the game can grip us. That pleasing surge as the ball zips through the net, the bounce pass on the fast break, the bonds that form during a game. For one community in a devastated part of the world, the game of basketball became a lifeline, an exercise essential to survival, a moment of relief from otherwise unbearable suffering, a moment that taught the world something about hope and the power of a game. You don't need to go far to find a pickup game in the Philippines. In fact, you can find a makeshift basketball court almost anywhere. That's the mayor, that's a headache of mine. Because when we turn the other way, all of a sudden a street is converted into a basketball court. And when they start going, they don't stop, they don't. That's our passion, basketball. Even when I was young, before I became a boxer, every day we play basketball. Well, my mother is from the Philippines, and I have a lot of family still over there. You can't even describe the love of basketball in compared to anything here in the States. It is the number one pastime, it is the number one sport, it is the number one religion in the Philippines, and I think it's awesome. 